Hi there, this is Physics Toolbox Accelerometer. I just want to show you how this can be used on any Android device, cell phone, or tablet. So if I just click on the icon, automatically it looks like I'm collecting some data values. Now, depending upon what I'm doing, I might be interested in viewing it vertically and just looking at the X, Y, or Z components, and I could flip that. Now, if I don't like this view, I can always change that, and I can always lock in the settings so that, for example, I'm in landscape view. And no matter how I change it, uh, the screen doesn't flip because, of course, you know we will be flipping the screen. That would be problematic over time. So um, I'm going to change that back to portrait setting. And let's say that I'm interested only in looking at um, maybe one dimension here. Maybe I'm just interested in the X setting. I can get rid of the Y and the Z setting. And if I go on back, all that it's plotting for me now is the G-force just in the X component. If I wanted to, I could even put on the total G-force. Let's say I'm interested in just looking at X and Y, then I can also get the vector sum as well. So if I go back, and there we go, and it starts collecting data there. Now let's say I'm interested in collecting some data that I'd like to keep and analyze. There's always this record button right here, and once that's pressed, you can put this in your pocket and it will continue collecting data. Maybe you're on a roller coaster or taking an elevator ride, and when I'm all done, I will be prompted to send myself an email to whichever account I want to send that. And I will basically be getting a, um, a text, um, not a text message, I'm sorry, a, uh, a text file, TXT file with comma separated values so that I can analyze that data later, maybe put it into Excel or into another data analysis program and I can actually see what's happening. All right, so I've shown you what it looks like on a phone. On a tablet, you have all of the same capabilities. Um, I should point out, though, that there are a couple of options down here below where you can zoom up on the data. You can also zoom back, and then there's a sort of zoom standard in case you want to see as much data as possible. Um, also, there's a reset button. So say you don't want to be collecting junk data, you're able to reset what you currently have. You're also able to pause it in case you'd like to just do some analysis while you're there. and. Um, again, you can zoom up on it so that you can get better data. Now, let's just say that you're not interested in G-force. Maybe you're interested in linear acceleration instead. You just push that little button right there, and instead of plotting G-force, you'll be plotting linear acceleration. That just saves you a little bit of math work. And that's pretty much it.